Hey what's going on guys my name is Ravi and welcome back to another quick premiere pro tutorial from Ira FX So in this video we'll be learning to quickly move our objects on our program monitor in a very simple and straightforward way So to start off I already have a video in my timeline so I'll drag this logo onto my you know timeline onto the top just like this so i want to adjust this logo and place it on to the top right or you know bottom right of our video so i usually see beginners clicking on the logo and they'll go to the effect controls here and then they'll use this position parameters just to move it towards the left or right or whatever place they want so this is what you can do you can just double click on this logo here so that you can see we have some blue borders enabled or you can just click on this logo and make sure that the motion is selected in the effect controls so that these borders are enabled and now you have the option to simply drag this in on the project monitor like this and you can also use the you know points here to scale this up or down and adjust your um logo size in addition to this you can also move the anchor point that you have here towards any corner like this in this case i'll move it to the bottom right and now if you start scaling the video the scaling happens considering the bottom left as the anchor point i'll move this back to the center and if i scale it the scaling happens based on the center anchor point i always suggest you to take advantage of this option whenever you are you know placing the um logo image or any text on the uh, timeline another tip that i can give you is when you click on this plus button here you see that we have an option called snap in program monitor just drag this onto this toolbar and hit okay now if i click on this we'll be enabling this snap in program monitor option and when you're dragging your image on the on the program monitor you see this red reference line that you can take advantage of so this would give you a red line that you can consider as a reference line and adjust your logo accordingly All right. So I hope you found this video helpful and if that's the case give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to talk with me regarding visual effects and video editing you can always reach out to me on Instagram. See you guys next time with another tutorial.